Hello, my name's Duncan McLean. I was born in 1945, which makes me 67 now. I was, I was born in Kilmarnock, and my father was a village pharmacist, and he had a, and he had a king's shop in a little village, a little mining village called Ockham Lake, which is in Ayrshire. And I went to school in Ockham Lake, and, well, and there was an open-air swimming pool in the adjoining town called Cumnock. It was about three, about three or four miles away. And open air swimming pools aren't really very popular, are they? No. Uh, but during the school holidays, we spent every day, I'm not kidding, every day of our school holidays cycling to Cumnock, getting on our bikes, cycling to Cumnock, and going into the swimming pool and spending the whole day there and having bovril for lunch, hot bovril. <laughs> And uh, we just swam all day. There were some di diving boards and, um, and snorkels and flippers. And um, I'm not just saying we went there for a swim for a couple of hours and came out. All day. <laughs> My fingers used to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah, now your fingers go all wrinkly. My whole skin. <laughs> I, I, mean, I came out all wrinkly. And you can imagine ten-year-old lads Skinny and, and, and standing stand with the towel rounds and the trunks all shivering and it was somehow warmer to go back into the pool yeah. and we'd come on and we'd have a bovril, a hot bovril um, and we'd spill most of the cool and we'd get it and then we'd finish that, we'd go back in and we'd fighting and jumping and bombing and diving and going off the pool and who, who could do the the silliest handstand off the side, and who can do the forward rolls, all the things that silly lads do, and we'd be absolutely exhausted, we'd get on our bikes and cycle home, and what a day that was. And it probably cost, probably cost nothing to go in, and that was our whole day. And then the following day we went back and did exactly the same, it was lovely. I had a delightful childhood, I really did, I was very, very, I was very, very fortunate, it was lovely. Did you enjoy school? School. <laughs> I enjoyed sport. Sport. Um, I sort of started doing the joined up writing when I was about 30, really, I suppose. <laughs> but at school, I, I wasn't keen on school. No. I loved rugby. I loved athletics. I was quite good at cross-country running. I just, I, just, I just loved running. And if I was running, I wanted to be first. And if I wasn't a cross-country run, um, if somebody beat me last week, I would beat them the following week. I was just very competitive and I didn't like not being first. Um, but when it came to exams, no, I was never first. <laughs> in, I was never first in the exams. I was first in the cross country running. Uh, I was captain of swimming and I was captain of the rugby team. And I was very small. That with my parents. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't good at that at all. Um, I didn't write to them very often, and phones were pushing button B and getting your money back sort of things. And mm. Anyway, I was heading up home in my little car, and I rang up, and I spoke to my mother, and she said, your father's at a conference in Manchester. Um, I said, well, Manchester is on my way home. I'll pop in and see him. And I was attending this conference in the Piccadilly Hotel. And I didn't realise how posh it was, because I got to the door in this little car, and this chap came out to open the door. And he took one look at me and said, um, if you're going to come in here, sir, I think you should change. Because I was in it. I was quite dirty. And I drove up a, I drove up a back street, and I got changed in into this suit which had been rolled up in the bottom of my kit bag for a couple of months. I hadn't seen the light of day for months. And I got the suit on and it was it reminded me a bit of, you know those odd looking suits that Ken Ken Dodd and, and uh, comics wear and the trousers just didn't fit right, you know. Anyway I, I, I put the suit on and went back and this chap he was quite firm but he was, I think he was kind, really. Um, and he looked at me and said, oh, come on in. And I went to the reception and I said, my father's here. 
uh, could you put a call out for them? And my father came down to see me. I took one look at me and said, what are you doing? And I know that it's just Scottish fathers or not, but he had this habit of very briefly looking up once. Not like that. <laughs> you know, just very briefly. And he goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm visiting you. And he looked at me. And he said, have you had anything to eat? I said, no, not today, no. And he said, book him in for dinner, bed and breakfast. And he took me up to this room, it was absolutely gorgeous. And soft, fluffy towels, and I had a bar, and it was lovely. And I had dinner with him. And he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm coming home, Dad. And he didn't seem to be keen enough. <laughs> and, and he said, I think you need to go to the, to the Lady Exchange, which was what they called the Job Centre many, many years ago. And I said, do you? And he said, aye. He said, I, I think you should go to the Lady Exchange and see if you can get a job. 